Hi, I'm Nancy and I've been asked to do a little snippet about using a tape measure. So today, that's what we're gonna do. So on the tape measure, everybody, most everybody would know that you've got the one, two, three, it's all in inches. You may be marked with a foot here and then as you get down to the two foot mark, you'll see this. But let's concentrate where most people have their problems and that's between the inches. You have all these little lines, and I had a friend of mine who always would say, five inches and three marks, and that's what she would give me. And as long as I knew one key factor, her telling me that, I knew what the measurement was. So the first thing you need to do with your tape measure is how many little lines do you have between the inch marks. And in most cases, you're going to see 16. So each mark is a 16th of an inch. The interesting thing also is you have one inch. What's half of one inch? Well, it's a half an inch. And that's going to be your biggest line right here in the center. And what's half of a half? A half of a half is a quarter, and that's where you'll see the second biggest line. And then half of a quarter is an eighth, and that's where you'll see, and then half of an eighth is your sixteenth, which is right here. So, if you're counting, and as my friend would do, you know, five inches and three marks, you know that there's sixteenths, so it's three sixteenths. And if it was four marks, then it's four sixteenths. And there's that quarter of an inch mark right there. And here's your half. This little one here is your eighth. And that little tiny one is the sixteenth. And that's once you know how many lines are between inside the inch, you'll know what you can say. So it's five, and instead of three marks, I can say it's five and three sixteenths or it's five and eight sixteenths, which means, oh, that's five and a half, okay? So first, when reading a tape measure, find out what your increments are between the inches. It can be 16, I've seen eight. It only goes to eight. You just need to know that. And that way, when you read it, if it's 16, whatever mark you're on, that's the number above. And that's just a short little basic lesson on how to read a tape measure.